Hi guys and welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Promit Ghosh and today we have with us the Mahindra Marazzo. Now this is a latest MPV from the company and we are testing it out so I'll give you a quick walk around. So let's get started. So yeah guys that's the all new Mahindra Marazzo. <coughs> Very highly anticipated MPV from the company. So as you can see it gets uh, an all new design, all new chassis gets uh, new interiors and it also gets an all new engine now uh, speaking about the engine i'll just quickly open the hood and just uh, show you so yeah guys that's the engine it's a 1.5 liter diesel motor and it produces around uh, uh, 121 bhp and 300 nm of torque that is uh, pretty good for this uh, for, for this mpv and uh, yeah so it's a uh, laterally based engine as you can see so they have fitted this engine in this uh, tiny space the hood is not very big it's a compact engine 1.5 liter all new engine that Mahindra claims so yeah so coming back uh, to the design guys uh, as you can see it's got a very unique design so Mahindra has gone all the way and uh, taken inspiration from a shark. Yes, my friends, from a shark. So it, this is a seven and an eight seater SUV. And uh, as you can see, it's based, the design is based on the shark. So the front over here on the grill, you can see um, these chrome, these, these chrome bits over here. They are the teeth of the predator. And uh, over here at the rear so it also as you can see it gets a lot of lines running all along the body and uh, over here at the rear this uh, c-shaped uh, tail light that it gets so this is basically the tail of the predator and it also gets a shark fin antenna on the top <coughs> so i'll give you a quick walk around of how exactly this car looks like so you can have an idea uh, it's a pretty amazing car and uh, yeah it's a long car so over here at the rear also you will see it gets a lot of chrome this car actually features not exactly a lot of chrome but yeah it uh, features some amount of chrome like you can see this chrome badge that runs all along uh, across the boot connecting both the tail lights plus it also gets these black caddings as you can see all along the car and you also get a bit of a chrome there and chrome lines run all, all along from the A pillar to the C pillar so it gets this uh, floating roof that slants towards the rear um, beautifully sculpted sides as you can see the sides are sculpted really well flush mounted windows windows are really large they are big windows and all of this uh, so all of this detail makes this car look really sophisticated and nice over here at the front you get these uh, smoked out uh, headlights with projector as well as a normal light over here this is for the high beam that's for the low beam the projectors over here you get the drls so uh, the drls are here below down you don't get the drls on the lower variants you get it on the higher variants so you get fog lamps along with that you get the drls and as i told you you again get some chrome over here as you can see that runs chrome on top and this looks like the teeth of the predator as I told you a very interesting design and it gets these wheels also as you can see these nice alloy wheels so these are 17 inch alloy wheels that and this car gets uh, Bridgestone tires these alloy wheels go well with the design the overall design of the car let's get inside so over here you can see this uh, door handle also gets uh, chrome so yeah there are bits and pieces of chrome and plus these uh, ORVMs are pretty large, pretty big and these door mounted ORVMs look really awesome and gives it a premium touch. 
So let's step inside. So before stepping inside, I'll just show you. So yeah, that's so this we the car that we are testing. It's a seven seater, as you can see, the captain seats in between, and uh, yeah, those are the rear seats. Now before I step inside and show you the interiors, just let me finish off with the rear also. So you get a Mahindra badging over here. You get a Marazzo badging over here. The M8 variant, and uh, you get a rear parking camera, and you get rear parking sensors also, and uh, boot space. Talking about boot space, so yeah, you get a relatively very, not a very small. Actually, it's a small boot. You get a 190 liter, so you can fold these seats on. Uh, on putting the third row down, you'll get uh, close to around uh, 690 liters of boot space. That's um, that's pretty decent if you're if you're going out on a trip or something because this will hardly fit like two bags or something it's really small a 190 liter boot space is not enough for a car this big so on folding these seats you will get a 690 liter boot space that's fell that's fairly good but uh, for that you have to have an eight seater because uh, the middle seat will also count as this will be folded and there'll be close to five people who will be sitting Inside the Marazzo, let me just start it up for you. And on starting, you'll hear a music. It says Mahindra Rise. This, uh, so. So yeah, guys, uh, inside the Marazzo and so let's uh, start talking about the steering. So it's got a very decent steering. It's a light steering and uh, it, it's got steering mounted control. As you can see, you can uh, switch and change uh, songs, the source and everything. And plus you can also, there is a uh, voice control. Uh, I mean, sorry. Yeah, there is voice command over here. Plus you get cruise control that you can adjust from here and you can, and this is a screen over there that uh, show that, that you, it's in between these, uh, it, between the clusters, the analog cluster, you got a screen where you can toggle things from here. So, yeah, you can toggle a lot of things from here. So, you get uh, purple lightings that look good. I mean, it's daytime right now, but I think at night it'll look good. And uh, so, yeah, the steering wheel feels light. And in the city also, there's no problem in maneuvering from left to right or here and there. So, that's a good bit. And uh, you also get a 7-inch uh, infotainment system out here. That's a completely touch uh, infotainment system. The touch is really good. It gets Android Auto, but it unfortunately does not get uh, uh, iOS, the Apple Apple Play. So, yeah, I mean, uh, there should be an update. Maybe at that time it will get it. So, yeah, this is the home. And you can go. There is navigation. And, uh, yeah you can connect your phone and so basically this touch screen helps you uh, get all the information from like yeah one second yeah so this uh, touch screen uh, gives you all the information about the car also and uh, plus it's uh, basically <coughs> so it is placed at an angle if the sun is shining maybe there might be a bit of a difficulty like you can see like it's sunny out here so it's reflecting so um a, there might be a difficulty for some people to uh, read it or see it during the daytime. So over here you get uh, the AC controls that are basically carried over from the XUV 500. Uh, but I mean, yeah, so AC, this is the rare AC and uh, this is to come uh, to what you call to adjust the temperature and this is the fan speed. Plus, you get this uh, rolling dash that gets some design over it and it looks really cool. AC vents and the dashboard is finished in decent quality of plastic. And you also get a, a storage over here so you can keep your phone or your wallet or anything you require. Uh, you also get an eco mode, guys. As you can see, you get this eco mode over here. Uh, I will just show that to you. One second. 
So yeah, you get this eco mode. It gets two basically a city and an eco. Plus you get the light uh, light control the uh, from here. You also get a cubby hole so to keep something. I don't know what, but yeah. So here you get an exposed steering column. Uh, should ha should have had a cover. And uh, yeah, guys. So one more thing: the clutch over here. It's uh, though it's a diesel engine, the clutch feels really light in the city, and it won't tire you out much. So yeah, that's a plus point. The clutch is really light. And as I told you, speaking about the engine, it's a 1.5 liter diesel, the new engine from Mahindra, and it's mated to a six-speed manual gearbox, as you can see. So this is the six-speed manual gearbox, um, and reverse is over here. Opening reverse, you get a rear parking uh, camera that's pretty decent enough, and you get uh, guidelines also, as you can see. You turn the steering, you get these guidelines that will help you park better. <clears throat> here you get a storage compartment uh, with a, a with a vent out here that you keep a few drinks. It will be absolutely chilled and cool. Infotainment system is nice. It's got an inbuilt infotainment system that's fairly decent. Not very, not very loud, not excellent, but yeah, it's uh, nice. And inside also you get uh, some chrome. Some chrome garnishing, as you can see over here on the handlebar, you get, uh, I mean, the yeah, the handlebar, you get chrome. On the AC vents, you get these chrome lines that run along. You get two airbags. Um, I wish there were more airbags for safety, since this is a big car, and for the rear passengers also, there should have been airbags. So, yeah, and uh, over here, just below the uh, gear stick, you get these uh, USB cables, aux cable and a charging socket. You get some space over here to keep maybe your phone or your wallet or something. And uh, you get this handbrake that's apparently like an aircraft, like an aircraft throttle. You can see this is the handbrake. So there is a switch over here. You press it and pull it down. You pull it up like this. Uh, this is again a storage compartment. You can keep something on top. If you don't want it, you can open this and yeah, there is quite a decent amount of storage. You can remove this and yeah, you get some more like you get some more storage to keep like a bottle or something. And this is for cup holders. So yeah, seats are good. They are good. The posture is good. The stitching is good. Uh, seats are really soft. And they won't tire you out. You you get the uh, passenger also gets a uh, armrest. It's a foldable armrest that can fold down depending on whether you want to use it or no. So the driver also gets it. And uh, you don't get a seat height adjuster for the passenger. Though you get a lumbar support, a manual lumbar support. You have to twist the knob from here, and you can adjust the lumbar from here. So yeah, um, that's about in the front and. As you can see, it's a really spacious car. I have actually pulled my seat back. So just let me come back to my normal position. Yep. So yeah, let's uh, go to the rear. Uh, let me show you. How's the rear arrangement? So yeah, that's the rear seats. So as I told you, this is a seven seater that we are driving today. So obviously it's got these captain seats, individual seats that are really nice, really good. And uh, so basically there's a split in between and these also get these foldable armrests. Um, so, and over here on the door, you get these uh, manual blinders that are really nice. So just hook them or un unhook them if you want. They're really effective. Uh, plus one more thing, getting, uh, you get a lot of uh, leg room over here. I haven't uh, pulled my seat completely back, so I'll just sit and show it to you. So you can see, you get a lot of leg room over here. Leg room, if you want more, just pull the seat behind. So this seat is adjustable and you, I'm a six feet plus guy. Uh, plus uh, over here guys, you get a USB charging socket. 
so the usb charging socket is like you don't get the rare ac vents over there but you get a central rear ac on the roof it's a roof mounted ac as mina calls it like you get a 3d sound effect this is 3d ac cooling so it's a huge ac that runs from the b pillar to all the way to the back and it helps cool the car really fast and good one more thing guys uh, getting into some of these back seats the third row uh, some cars have a lot of difficulty but in this from here with this like you can just that's all and you have a lot of space so you go in and as you can see you can sit but uh, unfortunately tall passengers won't be able to sit over here because there uh, is less space and uh, but you get a bottle holder and it really cools down till the end and cooling has no issues uh, as far as like from the front as you can see from the front till the back the car is cool absolutely fine it's chill getting out is also easy i being a 6 feet guy have no issues so yeah guys that is uh, mahindra's latest mpv the marazzo and uh, this starts off with a price uh, of around 9.9 lakh ex showroom and goes all the way to 13.5 lakh for the top variant that's i guess uh, a really decent and amazing pricing that they have given and uh, i'll just show you around once the front so as you can see now the drls over here as i was telling you uh you get the drls on the fog lamp and you get it only on the top variant it looks really nice and it looks really amazing the car is really good it's long and it's spacious and a perfect car to uh, that you can take along uh, for your long trips along with your friends or family or whatever so guys that was the mahindra marazzo and uh, if you like this video please share and subscribe uh, to all our social media channel till i am promit signing out and thank you for watching